Fumi Village is located in the southwest corner of the Mekong Delta at the border between Vietnam and Cambodia. The seasonally inundated wetland dominated by Leberonia articulata was one cover large area in the Mekong Delta. But now most of those wetlands were lost due to agricultural development. Only about 2,000 hectares of natural Liberonia wetland is now remained in Fumi village. The small area of natural Liberonia wetland in Fumi village is now unique because it occurs nowhere else in the Mekong River Basin. The wetland is also the dry season home of the endangered Eastern Serres Green. Fumi is one of the poorest villages in Vietnam. Its inhabitants are mostly the Khmer ethnic minority people. Fumi villagers have been harvesting Liberonia from the wetland for hundreds of years. The flood season from September to November is the main harvesting season for Liberonia in Fumi village. The harvested Liberonia was processed and stored for use all year round. Making products from Liberonia is one of the main livelihood activity of people living in Fumi village. From Liberonia, people can make different kind of products for household use, such as hat, handbag, uh, sleeping mat, or large sheet for storing uh, agricultural products. Natural wetland in Fumi village is therefore not only important for biodiversity conservation but also for the livelihood of local community. Since 2000, however, uh, wetland in Fumi village was threatened to be converted to a uh, rice right field or stream farm under a new land use policy. Recognizing the importance of natural wetland in Fumi, uh, the International Grand Foundation convinced the local authority to abort their uh, land conversion uh, policy and to protect uh, Liberonia in its natural stage. The idea was to create a new model of protected area which is managed by local community. This is an open protected area where local people still have access to resources from the wetland but is managed in a more sustainable manner. This innovative model won the World Bank's Development Marketplace Award in December 2003 and the project is formally established in September 2004. Skill training were provided so that uh, local people can make fine handicrafts from Liberonia instead of just simple household products as they did before. By making fine handicrafts, people do not have to harvest as much Liberonia as they did in making traditional household products. Equipment were provided so that people can make handicrafts with high quality. Market research were conducted to guide people to making products that are acceptable by higher profit markets such as tourism or export market. More and more new products were designed and produced. In November 2005, after one year of implementation, the project was able to export the first batch of handicraft to Japan. Since then, most of the handicraft produced by the Fumi project was for exporting. Uh, products from Fumi project are now exported to 12 countries in the world. As a result, income of people participating in the project have increased significantly. On average, their daily income is now three times higher compared to those before the project. Not only for improving people's livelihood, the main goal of the project is to protect uh, and to enhance the wetland biodiversity. The project has been conducting many conservation activities such as hydrological restoration, 
uh, replanting Liberonia on degraded wetland, uh, controlling alien invasive species, and preventing il illegal uh, land encroachment. Wildlife habitat within the area is well protected, especially those used by the Ceres crane. The number of cranes coming to Fumi wetland have been increasing tremendously from less than 10 cranes before the project to 220 cranes during the dry season 2009 and Fumi is now the site that had the highest number of serous cranes among all crane sites in the Mekong Delta. Fumi wetlands are also frequently used for educational purposes. More and more schools and universities send their students to Fumi for field practice. Fumi Project is an example of a model that combines uh, nature conservation with uh, poverty alleviation. It creates a win-win solution by which nature is protected and the livelihood of uh, people living in the same area is improved.